You're from Jackson? For Delbert Hoseman, it's not roses and candy that make Valentine's Day special. It's the patients at Batson Children's Hospital. I can outshoot anybody. I bet you can outshoot. Well, you can outshoot me. I'm easy. <laughs> we'll do a little one on one once you get started. Let's see how good you are. I think I can beat you now. I expect you could. <laughs> <laughs> All right, honey. Good luck. Thank I'll you. come to your game. You send me an invitation. Yes, we'll definitely do it. Happy Valentine's Day. For six years, Mississippi's Secretary of State has visited sick and injured kids like 16-year-old Lanier High basketball standout Morgan Catchings at the state's only children's hospital. I started the day that I was sworn in. It's the first time we've been in an elected public office, and I thought it was important to stay grounded. And so the day I was sworn in about one, I came up here that morning and spent the day here. And I think that's helped me a lot. Put everything in perspective for you. It does. When you see these people that are, that are struggling to be healthy, and you see the caregivers that are phenomenal here, um, it's just just an, it's, it just emboldens me and makes me work harder and remember why I'm really in public service. Oh, that was great. I think that was. I mean, it it was wonderful, really, because it's something that he really didn't have to take time out of his schedule to do, and just to spend time in conversation. I mean, it says a lot. They're all really nice, and you know, they they have. They have reasons to be, you know, a little angry at the world, I think. It certainly would be justified, but none of them are. Uh, they're all just trying to get well and t get their children home. And Blair Batson has been helping them do that now for really decades. Um, it's a phenomenal asset to the state of Mississippi. Everywhere I go, I brag on Blair Batson and what we do here. Uh, everybody here should be very, very proud. It's been a whirlwind. It's been really, really quick. There was no let me get adjusted period it was just straight from one extreme to the other she has h-r-a-l-l -L, leukemia what? she's already started her chemo so each monday basically she'll be getting another round of chemo for the first four weeks and then once she gets the that the next six months she'll be doing chemo on an outpatient like basis you know he always tries to find a common bond with all these patients when he goes in but he clearly has one with her of course basketball <laughs> <laughs> her favorite pastime. They challenged each other to a game when she's out, and he also said that he would come visit her. I'll wear your jersey. Did you play basketball? I did, but I wasn't that good at it. <laughs> <laughs> you got the I, height. I, it wasn't anything like you see out there with Lanier, I can tell you that. You expect to see him at a game? We do. We do. We would definitely invite him out. Why Valentine's Day? I don't know. I just thought that Valentine's Day was a good day to go give the, give a happy Valentine's Day once we had them designed and I've just been coming every Valentine's Day. I thought it was a good day. How long is he in for? Uh, we get to go home today. We've been You're here since kidding. Friday. Man, they're breaking you out, Wilkes. <laughs> Wilkes has Langerhans cell histiocytosis. That's a mouthful. Yes. Um, and it's basically a tumor behind his left eye. And um, this time we were here just simply for a skin infection. Um, which has put us in the hospital for five days. I just think it's really nice that, that people take time out of their day just to come by and see us, see sick children in the hospital, just to give them a little something or just to even, you know, give them a high five or whatever, just to make them feel special. I think that's important. We bring them a booklet about the state that's got questions and answers and like the uh, lighthouse in Biloxi and the state flag and that kind of I walk, I go through all of that. I've got a little crosswalk puzzle in there and we've got a picture of all the state bird and animal and mammals and those kinds of things and so it is, yeah, it's educational for them to tell them what Mississippi is about and what our institutions are about. The TV star of Blank Winfrey was born in Kosciuszko. You know, that is, that's exactly right. I asked him on the crossword puzzle which lady named Winfrey was born in Kosciuszko, Mississippi, and they all know Oprah. Uh, of course, Oprah's got more money than the state government's got. She's done really, really well, and we're real proud of her. So, yeah, they know that. Does not want to miss that today. How are you feeling today? Better than I did yesterday. To learn more about Batson Children's Hospital, go to facebook.com slash Batson Hospital. I'm Jim Albritton reporting. Thank you so much. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You're more than welcome.